a lot of people assume that science and religion can't come together. If science is about the real world, and if about theology is the real world, then both of them, because they're about the same real world, and the God who has created this real world cannot conflict. I was born here at UST and I was baptized at UST, but then my parents left when, we, when, we, when I was three, and I grew up in the city of Bangkok in Thailand, and then I went to the United States for the university, and I stayed there to finish my undergraduate degree. I came back to Thailand for one year. I was a fifth grade teacher, and then I returned to the United States to finish my doctorate. Uh, when I was finishing my PhD in biology in Cambridge, Massachusetts at MIT, I met the Lord through the Catholic Fellowship at MIT, which is a group of 30 or so undergraduates and graduate students who met on a Friday evening in order to speak about, to talk about, to debate the faith. I met the order when I was in London. Uh, I was a fellow at the University College London doing some cancer research and I met the order there. I had heard of the order when I was actually at MIT. I had met another student who was doing his PhD in physics and he had told me about the Dominicans. And uh, this physics student and I were actually ordained to the priesthood together uh, on the same day as Dominicans. I am a molecular biologist, primarily. That was my first training, but I'm also a moral theologian. I wanted to go into dogmatic theology, but my student master said, you know what, you have a PhD in biology, we'll send you to study bioethics. So I said, yes. And it has been a wonderful, surprising life to be able to speak on these matters. There are not that many pre-scientists in the world, so the few of us who are able to contribute, contribute in a very concrete way a wise priest told me that one of the ways that you can come to understand a, any artist is to look at that artist's work. And we must remember as scientists that every time we go into our laboratories to do experiments, we have the great privilege of exploring the works of art of the greatest artist uh, this side of, of creation. And this, of course, is God, our Heavenly Father. And I think that's what I tell my students, you know, when you're doing your experiments, if you're doing your experiments well, you are worshiping God because you're telling God, God, wow, you are doing, this is something you made. And I am trying to understand what you made. And in doing that, you're worshiping Him. The science allows me to develop a sense of wonder, to see my Savior's footprints in, in all of the work that, that we do, to see His fingerprints over all of our experiments. Um, faith and reason come together. So. I tell my students, they work hard, I pray hard, and together we can do good science. Of all the things I've done, I think uh, serving my students in my laboratory uh, will be in many ways my legacy. Uh, the opportunity to be present to a young man, a young woman who is searching for life, and for me to be able to begin to point them in the direction of the Savior, wow, for a Dominican, that's the best.